Davidson here giving you your weekly Hollywood roundup. Whether it's celebrity breakups, makeups, feuds, or breaking news, we are going to be giving you the most important and buzzworthy stories of the week right here, right now. I know that we all think that Taylor Swift has the perfect life, but let's be real, sometimes being one of the biggest stars in the world can be hard and even dangerous. This past Tuesday around 1 a.m., a stolen car crashed into the gates of Swift's beachfront home in Rhode Island. But the story gets even weirder. The car crashed into the gates of her home after a police chase. The chase reached the speeds of 65 miles per hour before arriving at her home, and Taylor, thank God, wasn't there at the time. Swift has recently had trouble with several different stalkers, but in this case, the police said there is no indication that the driver knew that this was indeed Swift's home. I think that that is a pretty big coincidence, don't you? I mean, who crashes into the gates of a superstar's home after a high-speed chase on accident? What's even weirder is that the car had four teenagers in it. The driver was 19 and there was also a 16-year-old in the car and two 18-year-old men, one of which fled by foot. The other three were taken to the hospital after the crash and the fourth occupant that fled was tracked down hours later. Apparently, the driver had stolen the car in Hartford, Connecticut, and the driver is now facing charges of reckless driving and receiving stolen goods. Swift actually publicly reacted to the incident on Twitter after ET Canada posted the news. Taylor's response was epic, to say the least. She quoted one of her hit songs, Getaway Car, and said, nothing good starts in a getaway car. Good one, Taylor. We couldn't agree with you more. Even though Game of Thrones is coming to an end, the friendships on the show are going to live on for years to come. On Wednesday night at the last ever Game of Thrones premiere in New York City, Sophie Turner revealed that her on-screen sister, Maisie Williams, would be one of two Maid of Honors at her wedding to Joe Jonas. At the premiere, apparently, Williams was telling E.T. that she was trying to pick out a dress for the wedding. Turner then spoke to E.T. and said, I don't know why she's thinking about what she's wearing to my wedding. I'm giving her a bridesmaid's dress. She's my maid of honor, one of two. Turner and Williams have grown up together on and off screen and even have matching tattoos that read hashtag Mofi. Obviously, yes, this is their ship name. Joe Jonas was also in attendance at the premiere and apparently he was even on set during the filming of the final season. Jonas was around so much that he had to sign an NDA to make sure he kept quiet about how the show ends. The duo got engaged in October of 2017 and are planning to tie the knot this year. Turner is a very lucky girl to not only have her love by her side, but also the support of her on and off screen BFF. Sounds like this will be the wedding of the year and we can't wait to see the star studded guest list. Oh, and if anyone has an extra plus one, you know where to find me. Things for pop icon Britney Spears have been pretty rough recently. Spears postponed her second Las Vegas residency in January, saying that she was taking an indefinite break from work after her father was rushed to the hospital in November after a ruptured colon. Since then, Spears has been devoting her time to taking care of her dad after he spent 28 days recovering from a life-threatening illness and had undergone a couple of surgeries since. The stress proved to be too much for Spears, and after being under so much pressure these past few months, she has checked herself into a mental health facility. The news came shortly after Spears shared a quote on her Instagram that said, Fall in love with taking care of yourself, mind, body, spirit, and captioned the post, we all need to take time for a little me time, smiley face. Since Spears is now taking some time for herself, her little sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, has taken over as the caretaker of their father. Britney's two sons, Sean Preston and Jaden James, are now staying with their father and Spears' ex-husband, Kevin Federline, for the time being. Apparently, Federline commends Britney for recognizing that she needed to take a step back and he's very happy to be responsible for the kids and for her getting the help that she needs. Even though the two have had issues in the past, 
Better Line is currently a big support for the family and wishes everyone well. We hope that you all have enjoyed our weekly Hollywood Roundup. Make sure to let us know what you think about these stories in the comments below, and we'll see you next week.